Hello and welcome, this is CG Professor. Today, we're going to create these colorful squishy balls using Blender. First let's delete the poor default cube and create another one. Then create a container out of it in which our sphere should fall. Don't forget to apply the modifications after you are done. Then, add in a solidify modifier, scale it accordingly and apply it. Then create a cube, scale it down and subdivide it for a couple of times and apply that also. Now, add in the array modifier and adjust it accordingly. Then let's go to the physics tab and add in collision to the container. And cloth and collision to our spheres. Enable internal springs and pressure. Also, enable self collisions. And that is our basic setup. Now let's remove the array modifier, copy and paste the spheres several times. Also, decrease the pressure to 0.5. Set compression to 10. Now let's copy paste the spheres. Looks good. Now let's subdivide the sphere. To copy modifiers go to add-ons, and search copy attributes menu and enable it. Now let's select all the spheres and select the sphere with the modifier. Hit Ctrl C, copy selected modifiers and choose subdivision and OK. Let's decrease the outer and inner thickness of our container and cache everything. Now let's separate the bottom of the container. Apply the translations and animate it on x-axis. Give it collision and bake it. Great! Everything falls down to the infinite. To fix this, add in solidify modifier and give it a little thickness and apply it. Also, subdivide it a few times. Great! Now, the materials. Create a new material and get into the shaders tab. Add in a noise texture, and join texture coordinate and mapping nodes to it. Add in the Musgrave texture. Adjust everything as per your likings. Add a color ramp node and play with the colors. Now, let's add a particle system to one of a sphere, and set it to hair. Decrease the hair length. Set children to interpolated. Play with roughness settings. Keep playing with the settings till you reach your desired results. I also added some clumps. Now, let's select all the spheres and lastly select the sphere with the fur, and copy active to selected objects. A great time saver.
Now duplicate the materials and create different types of colors and textures. I noticed that the noise textures are being projected to the spheres and looking weird. To fix this, I connected UV to the mapping node. Now let's set up the lights. Before rendering, check motion blur, and tick transparent under film to render it in transparent background. After the rendering, I've added in a gradient ramp in After Effects. And that's it, experiment with this on your projects. Consider subscribing for more such videos. And try to hit that like button, trust me, it won't bite. See you in another video.